guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Black Walkthrough. Okay, so it is finally time to take on the Drifail City Gym, and uh, I didn't really train any of my Pokemon. I kind of wanted to go in there, feeling a challenge and all that stuff. Now that I have a two, three, yeah, two fully evolved Pokemon, like, if you guys saw this in the last episode, yes. Last episode, Stoutland from Scotland, it came to us. That's right, Ace finally evolved into a Stoutland from Scotland. I love saying that. And, uh, yeah, Drillmonger finally evolved into Excadrill, too. So, we got some Pokemon. We got a little bit of a, you know, tankiness, strength, and all that crud. Now, it is finally time to go ahead and uh, challenge the gym leader right here because we need another badge. That's right, guys. And, uh, oh, wow, what the hell's going on right here? Oh, damn. Clay, it's a pleasure to meet you. I am Getsis of Team Plasma. I come to pick up uh, my associates who are who are in your care. I don't need no thanks now. Your buddies were trying to steal from some folks' Pokemon. What's this? It seems if uh, there has been some misunderstanding. We only free Pokemon from wicked people. Well, that sounds real nice if it's true. I may not talk pretty. But at least I'm an honest man. You talk real nice. But what you're saying kind of sounds like you're lying. So tell me in plain. What are you trying to say? Team Plasma also has interest in, Dr in Driftvale City. And we, are, and we have many, many more members besides who, the, those who are here. Oh, damn. Clay. Uh, oh, wait. Well, let's see. I got to talk the redneck talk right here. Well, I can't tell if you, you're lying or not. But I reckon you've won this, uh, this without a fight. <laughs> fine. Take him and get. Oh, damn. It's a real cowboy right there. A decision worthy of a businessman called, uh, the Miner King. Oh, damn. Your grasp of the situation is outstanding. Well, then. We will be taking our colleagues off to, uh, off our, off your hands. Okay, alrighty. This only gets us. Thank you, thank you so much. Don't worry, my fellow servant of the king. Where are the, or where are two of the sages, or the seven sages, or we are two of the seven sages, are we not? Well then, everyone, I expect that we will meet again somewhere. Okay, that was kind of weird, creepy and all that. What? I don't know. Sorry, let, sorry to let a Team Plasma go after you track them down, fellas. Uh, let's see. Say what don't, uh, don't we uh, cheer ourselves up with a Pokemon battle? Don't keep me waiting. All right, okay, so. It is time. Let's get this. And, uh, yeah, of course, Jared has to say something. Well, we avoided a fight in the middle of the city anyway. Still, I can't help to, but to think Getsis isn't just an ordinary person. I'm not to, to make my Pokemon stronger. I really don't want to lose to Clay, uh, to that Clay guy. Actually, I'm going to win my gym badge in a flawless victory. Whatever you say, Sub-Zero, whatever you say. Okay, here we go. Time to do this. The Drifvale City Gym. In all its glory, and uh, let's see, let's talk to this guy, see what he has to say. I'm sure it was uh, tough dealing with all the right, or all, all of that right after you arrived here. For now, I'll just give you this. Gives us water, just like a true gentleman. And he's gonna be like, the guy, uh, uh, the gym leader Clay uses ground type Pokemon. Well, just between you and me, ground type Pokemon are good against water type Pokemon. Kinda makes me wonder why Clay is living next to water. <laughs> The irony and all that stuff. Now, we gotta go down an elevator right here, and it's gonna be taking us all the way down to his lair. And we're gonna be battling a buttload of trainers right here. So, let's go right ahead. Yeah, actually, side of the torrent is here, and I gave it the experience share because it needs to evolve. And, uh, well, let's go. Okay, Challenger, bring it on. Alrighty, bring it. Just bring it. Here we go, coming out with the worker Felix, and he will be coming with his Palpatode, and nah, yeah, kind of screws me up a little bit, as, as you can see, the Palpatode right here, yeah, kind of strong, a little bit, but I do have the right move for this guy, I do have Grass Knot, he did not see this coming, look at that, super effective, and uh, that much shot did not hit me, so here we go again, Grass Knot, yeah buddy, look at that, easy victory. And say hello to level 32, Sigh of the Torrent. And he's going to be coming out with a Drill Burst, so I'm going to continue on right here with Sigh of the Torrent. He's going to be destroying everybody, like a Mack truck. Razor Shell, 
Gattaca. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, yes. This Pokemon is going to destroy every single one of you guys. Oh, yes. The Alexi's like, but then, but I lost. Yes, you did. You lost, buddy. You have lost. Okay, so what is next right here? We gotta press this right here. In order to go down to the next uh, stairwell right here now, we can go right here in the guardrails. That's what they're called. And uh, that is the only way to get to these guys. So we're gonna be battling quite a few of them onto these guardrails. I don't know how. Kind of afraid of heights and stuff. I face my Pokemon and we share our real feelings. Sometimes that's what I do in this gym. Okay, alrighty. Let's go. Bring it on. Worker Gun coming out with a Croc Rock. And uh, Croc Rock right now is a. Uh, yeah. Dark and ground type Pokemon. Easy Pokemon to defeat right here. I got the capability. So let's go with the Razor Shell. That's right. Take this, Croc Rock. Now, I would have gotten Croc Rock for my team. But I kind of wanted to use. I kind of wanted to use. Uh, what was it? Shell Shelber? Whatever his name is. Uh, Hold on, I forgot I forgot my Pokemon's nickname. Holy crap, man. This is what happens when you forget a lot of stuff. Uh, yeah, Shedder. Wanted to use Shedder for quite some time. Always wanted him on, on my team somehow. Didn't know how it was going to happen, but I, I think I found a working dynamic right here. And, uh, well, we're going to have to go right here. We're going to go upstairs. This is looking like a scary thing. And, let's see, not right here, but we're going to be battling somebody right here. What's up, girl? What you need? Clay is at the bottom of the gym, but I will, I'll, I will test you to see whether you're skilled enough to face our gym leader. Okay. I am skilled, and I will defeat you. Alright, here we go. Claire Gady wants the battle, and she is coming out with a, a drill bear. Okay. Yeah, most of these Pokemon trainers could have Pokemon that could evolve, like be fully evolved, but eh, it's not that. Well, it, it, they don't want to make it challenging for me, so here we go. Look at that. Shell Shock. Oh, yes. And that was easy. Holy crap, that was easy. That was very, very easy. Okay, so let's move on forward. It goes downstairs right here, and uh, wow! Are you serious? Well. Uh, well, shit. Huh. Thought we were going to be battling more Pokemon trainers, but it would seem that I actually got here a little bit earlier than expected. Okay, alrighty. Okay. Uh, <laughs> well, damn, I actually thought this was going to be a little bit difficult, but it turns out that I actually got here a little earlier than expected. So, I'm going to take that. And uh, what I'm going to be doing right now is I'm going to go onto Bilbipedia because I need to, I need that info for the Pokemon trainer right here. Let's go, let's go to this cowboy right here. Hope you're not a fan of the cowboys. Yeah. And okay, alrighty, let's do this. Bring it. All right, Clay. Well, think, think it's about time to see, uh, to see for myself what is, uh, what it is about your skills that made a gym leader like Elisa take such a shine to you. Okay, that's it. he's a man of few words. Clint Eastwood's anime brother right here. Look at that. So here we go, guys, battling against gym leader Clay, and he is a ground type gym leader, and he's gonna be coming out with his very first Pokemon, Croc Rock. Scary ass alligator crocodile Pokemon right here. Oh damn. Okay, going into the next screen, as you can see, guys. Clay, he is a ground type Pokemon trainer. He does have three Pokemon. He starts off with Croc Rock at level 29. It is both a ground and dark type Pokemon, so you can actually beat it with a fighter type Pokemon if you do have that. Water type Pokemon, very awesome. Grass type Pokemon, go right ahead. Croc Rock right here does have Swagger, Torment, Crunch, and Bulldoze. Be aware of that Bulldoze attack because it will lower your speed if you're not uh, aware of it. Now, his ace in the hole right here happens to be Palpitoad, the water and ground type Pokemon. It's at level 29, and it does have Aqua Ring, Bubble Beam, Muddy Water, and Bulldoze. Again, Bulldoze, lower your speed and all that crud. Grass type Pokemon is needed for this guy. Now his final Pokemon, his best Pokemon, Excadrill. At level 31, it is both a Ground and Steel type Pokemon. It does have the ability Sand Rush, so it will, uh, it will ra raise its uh, speed just a little bit. 
It does have Home Claws, Slash, Rock Slide, and Bulldoze. And as many of you guys already know, it is a very, very physical, fast attacker. So let's move on forward right here and let's kick some butt right now. Let's go with the Razor Shell to beat this guy as quickly as possible. Look at that. Oh, yes. Crook Rook defeated. Flawless victory. And say hello to level 33. Yeah, buddy. And he's learning Aqua Jet. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna teach you Aqua Jet just yet because yeah it's kinda like the quick attack for a water type Pokemon, but yeah, not the not the right type. And he's gonna come out with this big guy right here, so I'm gonna stay put with Sigh of the Torrent. I'm gonna beat you with a razor shell. You still a like ground type Pokemon, buddy. And well like you see right here, this guy is a fast Pokemon. So you gotta you gotta hit him pretty hard right here. So there we go, razor shell. Super fast, super quick. I'll be sure didn't see that coming. Okay, whatever. Let's get this razor shell. Fin oh wow. Yeah, he does like he does like using hyper potions. Okay, here we go. Razor shell. Take care of business. Come on. Nearly takes him out. One more time. Razor shell. God dang it. Okay, how many hyper potions do you have, bro? I want to know. Are you that rich? Cause you better pay me some good money if I beat you. And that takes him out, and, uh, well, it lowers his defense. So I guess the next move will actually do it, and here comes that slash attack. And it is a powerful one, so here we go again. Razor Shell for the win. Suck it, kick extra drill. Not you. Not you, Drillmonger. And he's going to be coming out with a Palpitoad, so we're going to take care of business right now with Sigh of the Torrent, because I do have the move for it. Giving up is easy to way out. If I wanted it, I wouldn't have given up. I did not read that correctly, but whatever! Here we go, Grass Knot. That's right. Critical hit. Fatality. I do love the way it looks when it faints, and look at that. Level 34. Oh yeah. And that's how you do it, guys. I'm throwing out that piece out right now. Well, I've had enough. That's right, you've had enough, Clint Eastwood. The Clint Eastwood of the anime world, Clay. Such a rugged man. Whew. I see. But I sure don't don't like it. For such a young a, a youngin, you have an imposing battle style. I know you got uh, people who uh, can dig up your potential. Here, take this. Okay, we're gonna get this. We're gonna get that. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Our first badge in a month. Throwing at the peace sign. That's right. I'm doing that ass catch him shit. Look at that. Five badges in all. We get ourselves the quake badge, and homeboy here is like, so that's your fifth badge, huh? If that's so, Pokemon up to level 60 will obey ya. Also, I'll give you this TM. Well, that was the plan, but I just remembered there's something I want uh, to do for you. Wait in front of the cave at the end of Route 6, would ya? Okay. Okay, wh whatever you say, homeboy. Okay, so uh, we're gonna be going straight up uh, straight up there and all the way back. I mean, I think, I, I think we skipped on two trainers. Probably, I don't even know. I don't even know. Oh, wow, we're going all the way up. Never mind. And uh, let's go right here. Okay, so... Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Look at that. Big pimpin'. Got five badges. Every now and again, I hope you look at the gym badge uh, you won here and remember the battle style. Or the style. Or the battle. I don't even know. I can't read. Dyslexia, guys. It's no joke. Yeah, actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and take a look at our badge right now. Okay, look at that, five badges, and here's a little trick that I didn't know about until recently. I started watching, uh, I think it was Chugga Conroy, and I did not know this, but you can shine up your Pokemon, or your Poke, your, your badges, so let me go right ahead and do that. Look look at my mouse right here. So, as you can see, these these are actually shiny. Look at that, you can hear the, the shininess right here. But I'm going to shine this one up right here. Look at that, different noise. I didn't know that you could shine them up like that. So that like like that actually you know, you know it was like oh wow so I didn't shine up my Pokemon Platinum uh, my Pokemon Platinum badges for a while that's why they looked all silvery and all that crud and lost their shine I didn't know that you could do that look at that so look at that five badges shiny as hell f yeah okay so let's uh, let's just take a let's uh, let's just take our leave right here I think we need to anywho guys. Thank you guys for watching. In the next episode, we will be going to route. I don't. I don't remember what route we're going, but we're gonna be. Uh, oh yeah, route six. Yeah, you just said that. Anywho, 
yeah, we're gonna be going to Route 6. We're gonna be battling a buttload of people and all that crud, so stay tuned, guys. I'll be back for another episode of Pokemon Black. See you guys.